We've got a set of three different numbers, and the question wants to know whether the mean of those three numbers would be equal to their median. So we have to understand under what circumstances that would happen. In a set of three numbers, the mean and the median would be the same number if the middle of those three numbers, remember we know they're all different, so you could imagine a number line and call them A, B, and C, uh, so three different numbers on the number line, their middle number on that number line is the median, and it would be equal to their mean if the deviation above exactly matches the deviation below. In other words, the lower number and the higher number would have to be equidistant from the middle number. Another way to say that is it has to be a symmetric set. Another way to say that is it's an evenly spaced set. And another way to say that is it's an arithmetic sequence. So that's really what this question is asking. Are we looking at an evenly spaced set? Are A and C equidistant from B? Now, if you think about what statement one is saying, the total distance between A and C is exactly double the distance between B and C. Well, what does that mean? That does mean that B is exactly the midpoint of the set. The deviations on either side of B cancel out. So this is sufficient on its own to answer the question, and we can eliminate BCE. Now, statement two is talking about the sum of the three terms, and we know from the dictionary definition of the word mean that the mean is the ratio of the sum to the number of terms. So we have that kind of relationship that we can use here. There are three terms, and the statement is saying that the sum is equal to three multiplied by one of those terms. So from that dictionary definition of mean, if the sum is equal to the number of terms multiplied by one of those terms, what does that mean for that term? It has to be the mean. Now, I don't know which of the terms is the mean. Statement two doesn't tell us that. It just says one of the terms is the mean of the set. But we also know that the three numbers are different. So you've got three different numbers. One of those three numbers is the mean of the set. Could it be that it's the biggest of the three numbers? Is it possible that that's the mean? Could it be that it's the smallest of the three numbers? Is it possible that that's the mean? No, because the deviations above and below the mean have to cancel out. So the only way this works is if the middle of the three numbers is the mean, but guess what? The middle of the three numbers is also the median. So this statement on its own also implies that the median of the set is also the mean of the set. In other words, it's an arithmetic sequence or an evenly spaced set. And therefore the correct answer here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.